What do you think? Twig, petiole, or caterpillar? If you guess caterpillar, you are spot on. Steve is the caterpillar man. We walk around and I see things, but I don't see these caterpillars like he does. And we were walking right by this wild senna and he's like, oh, and then I know, okay, it's caterpillar time. And so thanks to his brilliant eyes and then David Wagner's incredible caterpillar field guide, I'm able to make a likely identification by knowing the plant. So again, this is wild senna. We planted this plant here and it's so thrilling to know that there are moths here using not only the blooms but the plant itself to raise their young on. So you all know this. Caterpillars, moths, sorry, moths, butterflies, and a lot of other insects, I mean many, lay their eggs on plants and they need certain types of plants. So this one, I'm gonna go show you in a moment who we think it is, uses a lot of different kinds of plants, but wild senna is one that is listed in David Wagner's uh, index, which makes it so nice to find. So let's go look. Look at that, right out there by the seed pods. There you go, you can see it further away. The leaves are still there. Oh, it's thrilling. It's been a while since we found some big caterpillars. We have been finding a lot of big monarchs though, and that's exciting. But here we go. So, bent line gray. Now, he said that this one he found and an adult uh, did not emerge when he tried to rear it. And so this one is 100% bent line gray. This one he thinks uh, and that's what ours looks like, but it looks like they can be pretty variable. And look at that, see there, common food plants. There's a lot of different ones listed, but see senna right in the middle? And so by looking in that index in the back and seeing senna, there were three caterpillars in this book. Super easy to find and I hit it on the second one. And that's this book, Caterpillars of Eastern North America. This is in a, it's a very old one, so I'm sure he has an updated one out there, and I know he also has one for Western North America, which I can't wait to get. So, also, right over here, Bentline Gray, that's the adult. This is Seabrook Leckie's, um, and David Beetle's. Sorry, David Beetle. I didn't meet David Beetle, but I did meet Seabrook Leckie, and she's super, super cool. So they made this field guide to moths, and they also have in here the host plants and how many broods. So they don't have the caterpillars, but they do have the adults. And I love that field guides on insects are starting to include host plants because that's part of the picture. It's the whole web, and that's what makes things make sense because nothing is isolated. So there we go, our wonder for the week, a bent line gray caterpillar, our first one we've ever seen. Even though they're common, we've not seen one before, so yippee!